idea we'll continue with the asexual reproduction so we are seeing uh, uh, what is the characteristics of a asexual reproduction and what are the modes of a asexual reproduction one by one we'll see in detail okay well, the first one we are seeing this fission fission means what that uh, one cell is divided into uh, two cells okay or uh, if it is divided into two cells means it is called binary fission if it is divided into more cells means that is called multiple fission okay so this fission is absorbed in unicellular organism okay usually the fission is absorbed in a unicellular organism fission or cell division leads to the creation of new individuals <coughs> okay here we have binary fission and multiple fission what is binary fission parent organism divides into two identical new organism okay divides into two identical new organism with or without any definite orientation okay it may follow any pattern or it may be um, it may divide without any pattern or it, it, it divides into two equal halves likewise it will follow okay with or without any definite orientation in some organism with uh, only in the vertical pattern it can split or in some organism it in the horizontal pattern it can split like that okay <coughs> so here uh, bacteria and protozoa simply split into two halves okay in amoeba the splitting of the two cells during cell division can takes place in any plate okay because the amoeba does not have any particular shape right for example this is your amoeba and it has nucleus and the next process will be because the body shape will change right so uh, this nucleus try to split okay then it will be like this okay then it will try to split totally totally into two organism and this is one organism and this is one individual organism okay like this it will split okay so uh, uh, it takes play this uh, splitting of this um, amoeba is called your uh, reproduction okay asexual reproduction that is binary fission in leishmania leishmania uh, it will ca it will cause uh, kala azar we studied in the ninth century right it has a whip like structure at one of the end it has it does not follow any orientation it does not uh, split in any plane and all it can randomly it can uh, gives um, divide into two halves in amoeba in case of leishmania it will uh, a binary fission takes place in a different different definite orientation in relation to this the structure okay since it has a wick like structure at one of the end for a, so it looks like <coughs> so it has a wick like structure okay okay it has a nucleus how it will reproduce the reproductive structure will be there and this nucleus try to expand first copying of the cells is called reproduction right so it uh, first try to copy the nucleus and its small reproductive structure will be formed because it it split only at a definite orientation because it has one reproductive structure so it's going to split like this okay start growing and this nucleus is elongated the next stage it would be like this there's some separate whip for this and the separate whip whip for this the nucleus is separated and and it uh, gives rise to new individuals this nucleus with one whip and one more new organisms with the whip okay this is how it will uh, uh, split in a vertical manner okay in uh, one of the orientation because uh, it cannot split here okay since it has a whip in one of the end it has to split like this okay so leishmania follow this uh, type of binary fission it has some definite orientation in splitting okay in yeast it can put small buds at that separates and grow further okay yeast will have small bud at the uh, in the in the sides uh, it raised uh, then it the bud will separate and it will grow as a separate new organism okay 
Next, multiple multiple fission. Multiple fission uh, fission means what? Parent cell divide into many daughter cells simultaneously. Simultaneously, it will give rise to many new cells. Okay, In the book they uh, uh, shown this uh, plasmodium, malarial parasite, right? So it it gives rise to many 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 daughter cells. Everything in the nucleus. Okay. So these are all daughter cells. Okay. So it gives uh, divides into many daughter cells simultaneously. It will produce. Uh, it will not take one uh, gap between one cell and one new daughter cell. And new. Simultaneously, it will produce more and more thing. Okay. Example is plasmodium. Okay. In the multiple multiple fission takes place in plasmodium. Uh, in the yeast, a uh, small bud is grown and it is separated and it will grow like this. With the orientation, uh, Leishmania will uh, reproduce. And then uh, amoeba, it does not follow any orientation. Uh, uh, simply bacteria and the protozoa splits into two halves okay these are about the fission next one. next type of a uh, asexual reproduction is your fragmentation fragmentation it is observed in a multicellular organism with relatively simple body organization okay relatively simple body organization means it, it does not have a, a separate uh, organs for each uh, life process okay but it has but it is a multicellular organism okay so what is meant by the fragmentation it is a process in which organism simply breaks up into small pieces okay smaller pieces upon maturation once it is matured it's break into smaller pieces and these pieces or fragments grow into new individuals okay example spirogera if you look this spirogera it will be a, a filament like structure okay it is filament like structure and you will have some pattern like this this is what the spirogera will look under the microscope okay it will have some nucleus this okay once this spirogera mature once it um, mature it splits it split into fragments okay this separately and this separately and this separately all this all these uh, uh, segments will separate okay it is split into smaller pieces and this piece alone will grow and it uh, this piece will uh, again it grow like this okay once it is matured it will be split into uh, smaller pieces and these each uh, small piece one two three four each four piece will give rise to a new uh, uh, spirogera okay this is called fragmentation okay uh, we have observed this fragmentation in multicellular organism uh, here if you look at this uh, i have drawn a similar uh, similar pattern in each cell right each cell has a nucleus and each can uh, grow into a new individual right each uh, each cell can grow into a new individual this is also a multicellular organism but with uh, some body organization simple body organization not completely uh, uh, for separate organs for separate system okay separate life separate life process okay so do all the multicellular organism reproduce by fragmentation is it possible yeah, uh, they have a question in that fragmentation part no all the multicellular organism cannot simply divide by uh, cell by cell cell by cell by cell division okay cell by cell division why because the multicellular organism have a specialized cells okay all the special cells or group of similar cells uh, combine to form a tissue and that the uh, uh, similar tissue uh, combined to form an organ and similar uh, organs which are doing a similar function will form an organ system okay so they have a uh, they are separately they are placed at a definite position of the body right in that situation the organism is cannot divide by uh, cannot reproduce by cell by cell division okay it is impractical okay so it uses a complex way of uh, reproduction clear on this okay because we are see look at here uh, we are having a lungs it is separately kept in a uh, separately kept and likewise for uh, hey, uh, uh, fingers hands are separately kept it can it cannot 
divides uh, do the reproduction by cell by cell it is impossible because each cell is different cell okay it will uh, it will uh, specifically it will do only one function okay it cannot do other function okay so it is not possible so this fragmentation is not possible for all the multicellular organism because it has because in multicellular organisms specialized cells, cells are organized as tissue and tissues are organized into organs and these are placed at definite position in the body so in such a organized situation cell by cell division would be impractical and it uses a more complex way of reproduction in multicellular organism with the uh, differentiated things with the differentiated things for different organs different purposes it cannot reproduce by fragmentation it can it can go for the complex reproduction okay way of complex reproduction okay uh, then uh, which type in, in uh, multicellular organism each uh, cell type will perform each function okay likewise this uh, reproduction also done by a special cell okay in a multicellular organism different uh, cell types perform different specialized function then the reproduction is also a function of a specific cell only all the cell will not reproduce the uh, new organism okay so which uh, which cell type will produce this uh, new organism how is reproduction to be achieved from a single cell type if the organism itself is consist of many cell type okay see take a uh, human being okay here you are having a different cell here you are having a different cell here you are having a different cell these they have all the cells are different only one cell is going to uh, uh, one cell is going to reproduce it's going to produce uh, do the function of uh, reproducing a new individual organism okay then how is it possible it it consists of many cell for example if uh, um, a uh, specific cell for the reproduction is present here means this cell is able to produce many different types of cells this cell will have the capa uh, capability to produce new different types of cells not the same type of cell okay so the reproduction is achieved from a single cell and this single type of cell uh, type single type in organism is capable of growing proliferating and making other cell types under right circumstance circumstance okay it should have a, um, a specific condition for that cell to reproduce and uh, uh, produce new cells new cells new other type of not only the same type of cells making other cell types okay so this is achieved only by, by the single cell type that cell is a capable of growing proliferating and making other cell types under right circumstances if the circumstances is not the condition is not uh, good for that then it will not be able to reproduce okay next next type of asexual reproduction is regeneration it is also observed in multicellular organism but it is not similar to reproduction because the process is totally different here yeah. in a fully differentiated organism like a uh, head and legs like that it is a differentiated the or it is a multicellular complex organism have the ability to give rise to new individual organism from their body parts okay from their body parts that is if the individual is somehow cut or broken into many pieces many of the species grows into a grow into a separate individual this is known as regeneration Uh, if you would uh, observed uh, lizard in your home uh, lizard in your home because it will be hidden under some places right most of the time if you see that that insect tail has been cut if you look at this the tail has been cut okay after few days if you look at the same lizard the tail has been grown okay if any some if some part has been cut or broken into pieces uh, it has the ability to regrow it uh, produce the new organ new cells okay likewise in hydra and planaria it has the ability to each part if for example uh, the planaria can look at this planaria like this okay this is a planaria if you cut it into pieces 
each piece this head piece okay this head piece after sometimes it go into a full structure okay this middle piece okay after sometimes it will grow into the full piece okay this tail piece after some days if you look it will be grown into a full piece it is able to each part of the uh, body each body parts this last part can be able to grow into a full new separate organism okay that is called regeneration that is if the individual is somehow cut or broken into many pieces many of these pieces grow into separate individuals okay this is observed in hydra and planaria okay uh, how does this regeneration is carried out okay same uh, how the specialized cell uh, is able to produce new other types of cells likewise the regeneration is carried out by a specialized cell okay regeneration is carried out by a specialized cell and these cells prolif um, proliferate and make large number of cells okay large number of cells from this mass of cells different cells undergo changes to become various cell types and tissues okay this specialized cell is able to produce large make large number of cells okay it undergo changes and forms a various uh, new types of cells and tissues okay these changes takes place in an organized sequence referred to as development this is called development okay this head part with this uh, planaria head part uh, it it will go into a full organism this is called development of this planaria okay is regeneration same as reproduction no regeneration is not same as reproduction because it is not possible for all organism to, to cut right uh, some more it, it would have cut right it is not possible we cannot wait for the some someone has to come and cut us okay so most organism would not normally depend on being cut would not normally depend on being cut up to able to reproduce cut up to be able to reproduce so we cannot say regeneration is, is, is same as reproduction because it has to be cut or broken into pieces then only it can grow as a individual organism okay so it is not like a uh, reproduction okay so we'll continue this budding and vegetative uh, propagation in the next class okay thank you